Chief Opposition Whip Andre Kumari Sanayaka speaking in Parliament today reiterated that awarding a private company such as Total Pay the right to operate as a digital instruction provider to the national payment platform puts the financial oversight of the central bank on monetary transactions at risk. Details of a national payment platform first came to light in 2015. The CEO of ICTA later revealed that three private companies had been chosen to establish the proposed national payment platform. However, a cabinet paper for such a national platform was submitted in 2016. I have the cabinet paper with me now. A company known as Total Pay had been selected. However, this particular company was incorporated on the 1st of March 2016. On one hand, they say that three companies have been chosen in 2015, but one of the selected companies is only incorporated in March 2016. When you take a look at the profile of Total Pay, they claim that they have been awarded the right to operate as a digital instruction provider for the national payment platform by the ICTA. This will mean that a non-banking institute will act as a third party, will have power over financial transactions, and that the central bank's monetary responsibilities will slip into the hands of a private company. This could pave the way for money laundering and threat to the secrecy of individuals engaging in transactions. This information is very important when it comes to making investments. Former Finance Minister Ravi Karanayaka had informed commercial banks in the country to contact ICTA CEO Mohundan Kanage to inquire into plans on the national payment platform. A cabinet paper submitted by him states that the NPP will function under the regulatory oversight of the central bank. However, a report compiled by a 14-member committee appointed by the CEO of ICTA does not have the same oversight regulations. The central bank governor had informed the then finance minister that the central bank will not have regulatory power over the proposed NPP. This shows that even the cabinet has been misled. Although this suspicious deal has temporarily been stalled due to revelations by the media, the danger is still present because this company claims that it has a right to operate as a digital instruction provider. On what basis was Total Pay given the right to operate as a DIP? Who are the directors of Total Pay? What are the companies that were considered for the same responsibility? How many companies in total were considered for this? Was Lanka Clear considered as a viable party? If not, why? What capability does the selected company have to safeguard user details? What are the agreements signed or conditions agreed on between ICTA and the selected company? The central bank nor the ICTA has entered into any legal agreement with Total Pay. The central bank has not empowered the ICTA to award the right to operate as a digital instruction provider to any company. If some company claims to have such a right, they have no legal right to do so. Eight companies came forward to engage in software testing for the NPP along with ICTA. However, we have been informed by ICTA that at present only three companies have come forward. The three companies are as follows Transact Lanka Private Limited, Payment Services Private Limited, and Total Pay Private Limited. They have the right to engage in software testing. During the initial phase of planning for the NPP, ICTA entered into a non disclosure agreement with Lanka Clear. However, Lanka Clear did not come forward to function as a service provider for the NPP. No private company has been given the right to operate the national payment platform. Legal agreements have not been reached with any company. The national payment platform is still in its initial planning stages. Once this concludes, we will take steps to inform Parliament about this. We need to reap the benefits of a digital economy. I need to reiterate to the MP that we need to obtain the recommendations, approvals and supervision of the central bank for this purpose. A case that I filed in the Supreme Court in this regard is being taken up at present. Through this, we called on the authorities not to allow the national payment platform, which comes under the regulatory control of the CBSL, to slip into the hands of Mohundan Kanage or any other private sector racketeer. Everything will be regulated by the monetary board of the central bank. However, when moving to a digital economy, we need to be able to provide services through mobile phones and computers. We are now creating a method to even obtain bus tickets through the mobile phone. You know there is something called easy cash. The regulation of all this should be done by the central bank.